What is happening, Sip Nation? It is me, MC Shaky. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this and all my videos. <laughs> I love y'all. Um, also, hit me up at MC Shaky Live on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and on Facebook. Um, this video is part one of a series that is going to continue about credit. Um, one of the things that we're doing at Sim Nation for 2020, as we call it, the year of clarity, uh, we are getting a lot of our things in our lives together. And one of those things that we're getting in our lives together is credit. Um, I have set up an email address, which is shakycredit at gmail.com, which is scrolling above on below the screen, that is going to, uh, in case you have specific credit questions, and I will try to answer them as we do subsequent videos. Additionally, I will be picking one person to navigate this with me as I not only fix my own credit, uh, as well as I want to fix somebody else's credit for absolutely free. Um, I will only require that they buy the stamps and the envelopes for them to do it. Um, but to enter that, what you need to do is show me that you have gotten your credit report. And we're going to do a drawing on at the beginning of the year. And so someone will get their credit report done for free. So if you, the simple way to answer is simply this, take a picture that you have gotten your credit report, your official credit report by one of the ways I mentioned here, and we will um, do that. So, all right. So, oh, something's my eye, I don't even know what it is. It's like, oh, okay. So I do everything by mail after this step. So you're going to need basically stamps, envelopes, and I do recommend a manila folder just to kind of keep everything together. Um, that's probably all you need to repair your credit um, is stamps, envelopes, uh, manila folder. Um, sometimes you will have to send out a certified letter, uh, but not right, right, right now. So uh, be prepared to go to the post office. It took a couple of years for us to mess up our credit. So guess what? It's going to take some time for us to fix it. Generally, credit repair is done a legitimate legal credit repair. And trust me, at one point in my life, I was a fraudist. And a fraudist is simply a fraud artist. <laughs> um, and so I know the ways of fixing credit as well as I know the legitimate ways. So so a lot of stuff people will tell you will actually be lies and a lot of people will swindle you. But credit repair is basically this. Credit repair is you are challenging inaccurate or unverifiable um, or invalid information on your credit report. The credit bureaus, the major ones, are not a part of the United States government. They are not official government agencies. They have no association with the Social Security Administration. Like they like you to believe, they are not all powerful. They are just businesses that keep information on Americans. Um, and because they do that, there are very strict laws that these, these agencies have to follow. The three major credit bureaus are Experian, Equifax, um, and TransUnion. Uh, those are the three major ones. There are a couple of minor ones that do different things like Anovis and LexisNexis. Um, Check Systems is a credit bureau for uh, bank accounts. Uh, so know if you one of your bank account went into the rear. So those are the, the, the three major credit bureaus that compromise your credit score. And a lot of people pay attention to the score, but what affects the score is the items on the credit report. And I, like I said, we'll get into more of that as we go along. So the very first step we need to do is get our credit report. If you don't have your credit report, how are you going to fix your credit? You need to see what's on it. You need to understand what's on it. And you need to get that done. That is like the very first step. So tonight I'm going to show you how to get your free, absolutely positively free credit report online. And I, as well as I'm going to show you how to get one that includes your score for a dollar so that's you know i know there's people that's facing credit five thousand two thousand two hundred fifteen hundred twelve hundred <laughs> two hundred five hundred all these different numbers i've seen a lot of that and they're basically doing what i'm going to show you for free like 
All you have to do is look. And by the by this time, as we sit here, it's December 17th as I'm making this video. But if you follow this up this time so next year and do what you have to do next year, you have some great credit legally and for free. <laughs> and for the for, for like for next to nothing. Um all right, so the first website I want y'all to navigate to to fix your credit and to get your credit reports is this. It's called um, annualcreditreport.com. So let me add it to the screen. And as y'all can see, it's annualcreditreport.com. And it's um, the annualcreditreport.com was the, the federal government punished the credit bureaus because they were not allowing people access to the cre their credit reports. And so they started making the Fair Credit Reporting Act a lot more strict. And so what happened was the three big companies got together and made this website called annualcreditreport.com because the federal government, according to the FCRA, which is the Federal Credit Reporting Act, says that you are entitled to one free view of what the, your credit report says per year. Now, I recommend going to this site, probably not on phone, because the next thing I'm going to recommend to y'all is this. I recommend that you get you do this on the computer at your job, go to the library, because I want y'all to have your credit report in your hand. I want you to not have it on your phone, not to look at it and exit out, not to have it on your apps or anything like that. The apps like Credit Karma and Credit Sesame, they're just like apps that are showing you one or two of your bureaus and a Vantage score, which is not the actual FICO score that the, the, the people see. Those are not those cases. So the first step I want you to go to is annualcreditreport.com and print out your report. I want you to have it in your hand. It's not only that a psychological thing, especially for us, because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. If it's on your phone, look, you're on Instagram, you're on Twitter, you're on Facebook, I'm doing the same thing. My parents are on the, my phone on the credit card app, especially if it's bad news. But if it's in my hand, if it's something that's sitting on my desk or sitting on my bed or sitting on something that I'm doing, I'm gonna always pay attention to it. And so this is why I write down a lot of stuff and put it right here because I'm going to pay attention to when they get it done. Um, so, I mean, it works for me. But whatever you can do, even if you've got to paste it to your, put it on your refrigerator, magnetic it, whatever you got to do, I want y'all to do that. Have your credit report in your physical hand. You can also request it by mail. And I'm going to provide a link in this video in the description where you can download a form and mail the form in to the clearinghouse for annual credit report. Um, which is also a good thing. Um, this is probably the only thing I recommend. Getting your credit report is the only thing I recommend online. When we get into the parts about disputing items on your credit report and stuff like that, don't, we're never going to do that online. And nothing else we're going to do online but aside from this. So, um, and I'm, I'm going to just show you how easy it is because what I'm going to do is just go into it and request my free credit reports. And it's just that easy. So it's easy as filling out a form and downloading the report. Um, so request your reports, and it's going to actually, you know, your basic information. Now, I'm going to take it off because I don't want everybody to see all my information. But um, it's very, very simple. It's not hard. It's like literally your name, your date of birth, address, any previous addresses. Um, and um, what is my birthday? <laughs> and it's, it's just basically that simple. Your social. This rep, this website is not operated either by the government, but it was created because of a government rule. Um, that is my address. Yes, previous address. No. All right. That's it. You do it, and it's gonna ask you. No, I don't want to say. So let me show you back the screen. Put the screen back on. So it asks you which ones you want. One, two, three. So let's request all of them because you got a year. So they're going to pick one to go first, and they're generally going to ask you a few questions. Um, this part I can't show either. But so you enter the last four of your social on the website. Which is that my last four of my social. And it's going to ask me like some questions. I'll show you the questions that will ask me just to see um, that you're you, which is also simple. Um, and if you are you, Which I am. You answer the questions. I said, look, see what the it's actually crazy questions just to make sure it's right. And so um basically once you answer the questions, it's gonna say thank you. Ah, it's gonna say thank you for your order, and it's going to give you <laughs> your report. So this is my report. Um 
And so it's going to talk about stuff that's on my report. So what I do here is what I do is I actually. All right. So, yeah, I have work to do. Um, so uh, I do have work to do. So we are going to print it out. There's a way to save it to. I want to. Let me see. There's a way. So this is my Equifax. And we have work to do. And that's good. Okay. So look, I'll show you for the Equifax one. It offers you the option to download a report. All right. So I downloaded the report and it's just saved it on my computer and I will print it out in a minute. Um, so then when you finish that, you just hit get your next report and it's going to ask, which will be Experian. And it's going to ask me probably some of the same questions or something similar. Yep, so I got to compare my identity. And I have four minutes to do so. So let me do that. Uh, it's not going to take me four minutes. Let me come back over here to this screen. And um, if you don't get them right, they're going to tell you you're going to get it from, from the mail. You've got to get it in the mail. And so, um, and so here is your experience report. It's going to look something like this. So, um... This doesn't give me the option to download my report, so I'll just print it out. Anyway, it's for pre preparing my report to be printed. So um, so I'm going to actually print this one. It didn't give me the option to download it. Make sure y'all add a computer at the library or at your house that has a printer attached. I want y'all to get it out. The only reason I just saved, because I don't think I have enough paper to print my Equifax. Equifax is one of the bigger bureaus, and what happens is it actually... Um, it actually, who is this? So it actually, uh, AT&T. Um, so it actually will take a lot of people. So that's the only reason I didn't mess with that. Uh, so, all right. So the next thing is, go right back up. After you print, why didn't I get? Um, why didn't I give me the option to? Hmm. All right. So once you do that, it's going to give you the option to get your next report or finish. So I'm just going to go back to report.com. And I, that will give me the TransUnion report. And we'll ask me some questions. Probably um, continue. Ah, uh, personal information. No, I'm going to hedge up. <laughs> I don't care. It's not. All right. So, got the report. Um, In my next video, we will be looking at every part of our report. All right, so look, watch this. For some reason, TransUnion, I don't know why, it says that my report could not be completed this time because of the data. It says I can request the annual report by phone, which I will not do. Um, um, you can request your annual report by mail, which is um, that you return to the website and let me see. Would it let me? No, it won't let me do it. So I don't know why. But um, so basically, that is what happened there. Um, so you can only do this once a year. It's annual credit report. That means once a year, you get your free actual credit reports, and you get every piece of your credit report. It's every. It's the whole thing. Um, and it's actually what the lenders receive. It will not give you a score though. Um, the link to the form, it will be put into this video as well. So you'll have the link to the form. All right. So the next thing I want to show y'all is this. Um, if you must see your scores, this thing I recommend is dealing with this company, which is the one, the only one I like to deal with when I'm putting reports, especially on other people too, is Credit Check Total. 
credit check total. Yes, you see your three credit boards and FICO scores for one dollar. Now you see them for a dollar, but it's a seven day trial. But then you call and cancel the trial, and then so you've seen your scores for that day. Um, and it's exactly the same ease as what we've just seen. It's so simple. There's no excuse not to do this. Um, it asks you basically your questions. Who are you? Where are you from? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, and ask you for your credit card information for your, you know, to verify who you are. Once you verify who you are, it will just basically give you, where's the last word? Is my social? Um, um, what is my birthday? I don't know it. <laughs> I know it now. It's November. Um, and it's just, Okay, and so once you fill out the stuff and finally get it together, it will actually give you an actual FICO score um, that you can actually see uh, as far as your FICO score for your credit. Um, mine's is currently 592, late payments and foolishness. So um, we got work to do. So I don't know where you are, but we know where we're going. But to know how the best way to get there, we all have to know where we're starting from. So that is the key. So the first step to fixing your credit is to know where you stand. And it's not just knowing uh, what you think it is or what they tell you at a certain place, or even with one of those apps like the Credit Karma or Credit, whatever it is. It comes from knowing from what the credit bureaus are reporting. And so you can get your credit report by one of those two options, like we talked about, annualcreditreport.com or creditcheckttotal.com. No one's paid me for this, so this is like completely whatever. Remember, if you do do the credit check total so you can see your actual score, you also have to um, make sure you cancel it within a week because it will charge you like 40 bucks, and that's a lot. If you have particular credit questions, please go to shakeycredit.gmail.com, email me, and I will try to answer them in upcoming videos. So the next video that we will do, we will talk about the actual dispute process um if you had to get your credit report by mail don't worry it's not a big deal the just mail off the form that's uh will be linked in the description of this video and we are on our road so we've taken the first step to get a our credit right for us um again sit nation this is what we're doing is uh clarity 2020 i love y'all and i will definitely talk to y'all later make sure y'all get y'all credit reports right now Right now, don't wait. Don't let's see where it's at. Let's face it. We're gonna face it together, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna get great credit by the end of the year. I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all another time.